welcome to this session where we're going to talk about uh, dairy cattle breeding. And uh, when we talk about animal breeding, there's a very big uh, difference between farmers who just keep animals and those who keep animals for breeding. And that is why we want to define breeding um, as a deliberate effort uh, by the farmer uh, to mate animals which are selected uh, with an objective to achieve a certain uh, desired traits uh, in the generation that uh, comes after. So dairy cattle breeding involves um, a careful choice of the sire and the dam which are to be mated uh, in order to uh, have a cow or a calf that is born with the desired traits. And when we are looking at breeding, we have a number of considerations uh, uh, to keep in mind. The first thing is production. Uh, any breeder who wants to venture into breeding, they must uh, be uh, specific to the objective. And we talk about production, the aim of a dairy uh, farmer is to have a cow that produces enough milk, a cow that will be improved for high production of milk. The other uh, consideration is on the issue of fertility. Fertility uh, in simpler terms in dairy uh, cows will be defined as the ability of that particular cow to give a farmer calf every year. That will mean that the cow is able to conceive when it's inseminated and the cow is able to hold the calf throughout the, uh, the, 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 the lactation, throughout the gestation life of that uh, cow to the time it gives birth. The other aspect we're looking at is the dairy conformation. And this is always dependent on the breed and the choice of a farmer. Dairy conformation uh, speaks more about the body structure of an animal. And when selecting for traits for a good dairy cow, a farmer will need to look at the traits that help that cow to produce more milk. Body conformation also will help the farmer know that this cow is going to last long on the farm. Its uh, body structure and stature will help that cow uh, be able to take in uh, more feeds and convert them uh, into milk as uh, required. We also look at the health traits. When a farmer has a cow that is sickly, that cow won't last long on the farm and that cow will not be productive. That is why it is important for a farmer to look at the records and the generations of uh, a cow to determine whether it is, uh, um, its immunity uh, is higher to enable the cow to withstand more of the prevalent diseases that occur on the farm. We're also looking at longevity. And longevity is the ability of a cow to remain on the farm for the longest time while it is being productive. Most of the dairy cows uh, would be expected to give at least 8 to 12 lactations on the farm to have remained productive uh, 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 and profitable to the farmer. So longevity is also an aspect that um, a breeder will look at while selecting or while uh, determining how to breed the animals. You also have a trait that relates to the calving ease. Calving ease defines the ability of a cow to give birth with minimal assistance. And this uh, will help the cow in terms of uh, being able to raise the calves and also helps the cow to be safe because uh, most deaths occur to cows 
which have difficulty in, in calving uh, to uh, die or to lose a lot of blood and that affects uh, the cow uh, the, the cow that is meant to be productive on the farm. So calving is also an, uh, a trait that needs to be considered uh, when a farmer is looking for a good breed. The other aspect is workability and workability is defined in terms of uh, the milking speed, uh, the size of the teats um, and the ability for the person milking the animal to find ease in uh, getting milk from the cow. It is important that the workability score of the, the cow to be uh, selected for breeding uh, is high to enable the farmer know that this particular cow uh, will be suitable and it will be easy uh, to milk that cow and uh, get uh, more milk from it. We're also uh, looking at how to achieve a good dairy cow. Having talked about breeding and the kind of considerations that need to be kept in mind, we need to know what exactly has to be done to achieve or to have the desired cow. One of the things to look at is selection. And selection is a process whereby a farmer will sit down and identify the traits that he or she needs in a cow. And the first trait for a dairy farmer to consider is milk. Therefore, a farmer should look for a cow or for a, an animal that is capable of producing more milk or high yields of milk. Other traits will follow and a farmer will be looking at uh, the ability for the cow to stay long on the farm the ability of a cow to withstand um, uh, harsh environmental conditions, uh, diseases, and also the ability of the cow to convert feeds um, into uh, milk. Um, and these are all based on the availability of records. And so a farmer has to ensure that uh, he or she refers to the right records. He, needs to, he or she needs to consult um, a qualified um, a breed expert to guide in the process of selecting for the right uh, traits. And this also includes selecting uh, the bulls or genetics that uh, really match the needs of the farmer. The other important um, aspect that contribute to achieving a good dairy cow is the mating system. And this is entirely based on the records that a farmer needs to keep. A farmer needs to refer to the records to determine which animals are to be mated. And that is arrived at when the farmer looks at a number of traits uh, which uh, contribute to high production of milk, calving is, a fertility of the animal, and identifying the right match to enable come up with a, a good cow from the breeding uh, uh, the breeding of the, of the two animals. So it is important for a farmer to highly consider the traits that are desirable that need to be uh, given attention to have a good dairy cow. Now for a smallholder dairy farmer, the source of breeding animals will start with what the farmer own at the farm. The farmer should aim at improving the animals that are available on the farm because the animals are used to the environment and the management conditions that uh, exist on the farm. So the farmer, before the farmer looks at improving their uh, breeds and selecting a, a good animal, they should first of all think about their own animals and determine whether they have the desired traits that they need uh, to improve uh, so that they have a good dairy cow. So the first source of breeding um, uh, animals should come from the farm if the farmer has uh, animals uh, that are is keeping on the farm. This will help the farmer uh, grow and uh, determine how best to improve 
on the management and other aspects uh, relating to uh, improved dairy production. While selecting uh, or sourcing for breeding stock, a farmer should seek the advice of a, an expert. And uh, most uh, of the farmers will work with the uh, veterinary officers and artificial insemination uh, uh, experts to give them information about the best bulls that are on market that can be used to improve the animals that um, exist on the farm. The other source of uh, dairy uh, breeding uh, stock will come from the neighbors. A farmer will also look at who are the best uh, animals or farmers within uh, the areas that the, uh, the, the, the small-scale farmer resides. They will identify with the help of um, a breed expert in determining which uh, breeds are better and are suitable to be improved and they can start from, there, from that point. Again, we have um, other advanced breeders who have superior animals uh, that a farmer could contact and buy from them. What is always important when sourcing for uh, breeding uh, materials or breeding animals is that the farmer should be able to understand that the animals need to be managed uh, better than uh, they were uh, in, 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 their, in their conditions. And therefore, uh, the farmer should be ready to manage the animal, it should be ready to consult with whoever he's buying the animals from on the management and the other requirements that need to be given to the animals. Uh, um, one important thing is that uh, dairy breeds do uh, uh, perform best in their, in, their, in, their, in different ecological zones. And therefore, farmers should also be guided and should seek advice when they bring in a new breed to their farm to, to determine whether the animal is well adapted to fit and to survive in their environment. Uh, the other aspect that needs to be considered is on the issue of um, uh, management. Farmers should take note that managing a dairy cow is always demanding and should be considered um, as a key priority in having a cow that is more productive. 